I bought this black and decker leveling laser because it was on sale and I'm going to try it out to see whether or not it was a good purchase. In the box was this laser unit and this wall mount piece that helps hold the laser unit in place on the wall. After you turn on the laser, you push on the buttons on the sides to point the laser horizontally to the right or left or point it vertically. The wall mount piece has a built-in nail that sits flat against the back but can be pushed out to nail the wall mount to the wall. This metal ring in the wall mount attaches to the magnet in the laser unit to hold it in place. And the magnet is strong enough to hold the two units together pretty securely. When you turn on the laser, you have the option of locking the laser position or letting the laser auto level. I set it to auto level itself and you can see that the laser beam projects onto the wall a long distance, which would make this ideal for installing wainscoting or chair rail molding on the wall. Now I'm going to use a regular level to check the accuracy of this laser level. And it is accurate. When you lock the laser beam, you can have it project onto the wall at an angle. When I set the angle at zero degrees to check for level accuracy, I discovered that it wasn't level. This was a very common complaint in the reviews for this product on Amazon. I'm not sure if you can see this clearly, but the air bubble is located on the far right. When set to auto leveling, the position of the unit on the wall can be off by a little and the laser beam will still be level. For this feature, it's worth the $10 that I paid for it, even though mine is defective. But unless it's going to be defect free, it wouldn't be worth the $30 to $40 that this unit sells for on Amazon and other online vendors. Here, I just wanted to show you the size of the nail hole, which some reviewers have complained about. I can live with it. Now, I'm going to use my new laser level to hang a new mirror in my powder room. Hopefully, it'll help me hang it straight.
And here is an after pic of my powder room with the mirror hung. And the mirror is hanging totally straight.